boy. Beefing. Brothers from another mother. Letting y'all know there ain't no other brothers. Straight a day, don't matter where you from. Beefing. We changing it up. 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 Boy. Beefing. Crazy, man. Who you talking about right now? Lil Wayne, man. What about him? I don't know. That's six foot, seven foot, man. Like, it's, it's metaphors. It's like, it's retarded. Like, it's hot. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope. It's dope. He said, he said, tell him to kiss my ass. Call it kiss and tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's crazy. It's hell. What's up, y'all? What's poppin'? We just take a little walk. You know, me and the fellas, you know. Well, just my pal. And, uh, yeah, we just figured, you know, we just get a little fresh air. And, um, yeah. Right now, of course, y'all know we in, we in spring right now. We're in spring. And, and it really don't feel like spring weather. What well, kind of does, because it got a little breeze. It's, it's, oh, who is that? <laughs> uh, I have a I have a thing for chocolateness. All of y'all know that already, but I have a thing for chocolateness. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking real cute. But uh, I got things for <laughs> cheeks, uh, booty, and cheeks. Like. But why do that's one thing I gotta ask? Why do why do even like men like why do they why like you don't have a problem with dealing with an old chick? Why like? Oh. You, like you, you'll go to an old chick if the chick, I don't know. It's like weird, like. What do you mean an old? Ch wait. Like old, like old and wrinkled booty, like. Oh hell no! What are you yeah, talking you, about? Yeah, because you was just looking at it. I'm no, confused. that wasn't. Nah. Yes, it was. I was yes, it was. Listen, y'all. <laughs> you ever <laughs> try to show somebody? It was something. old and wrinkled <laughs> booty. Nah, you ain't gonna play me like this. Like, do nah. you like old and wrinkled? Do y'all like old and wrinkled nah. booty? I don't like old and wrinkled booty. What happened was he likes old and wrinkled booty. What he was just looking was, at old and wrinkled booty. I went to go show him something real quick. I was like, yo, check that out. You know what I mean? Whatever. But. They were across the street, so they were passing where the van was parked, and then this, this old lady goes and crosses, you know what I'm saying? And then that's all he saw. Old and wrinkled booty. Because the chick that came across from the car, I saw it, and look. I'm like, I'm like, old and wrinkled booty. He didn't even look old again. Old and wrinkled booty. He didn't even look again. Old and wrinkled, he would have old seen and wrinkled booty. Anyways. It's all good. You can iron that out, though, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you can iron, iron it out? Hell yeah, iron that shit. How do you how do you iron out old and wrinkled booty? How? Well, you iron it out and you um I think it's wrinkled because there's nothing there and it's old. So what you gotta do is you gotta give them an implant. You know what I'm saying? There's hope for everybody, y'all, even for the ass. Who said there's hope for everybody? Shit, look at Nicki Minaj. I'm oops. <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on with Nikki? Nikki is fly. Yeah, Nikki is hot. That, you think that booty is real? You don't think it's real? I don't know, son. I, Do you I, think Jennifer Lopez's booty, booty was real? Of course, of course. Why did she get a reduction if of it was course. real? What? Why did she get a reduction? Because she wanted a reduction. It's like women that got, you know, big breasts. They want a reduction on the breast. It's, it's, it's common, you know what I'm saying? The water. I think she probably did it because she wanted to, but another thing is, um, she probably did that shit too because, I mean, everybody knows she got, she got the L. You know, the L melons, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows she does. And that was always the focus on her. No matter what she was doing, it was always the attention. The, everybody was like, oh, J-Lo booty. Oh, you got the J-Lo booty. Oh, you got this, you got... That's what it is. So she probably just did it on some not being, you know, I guess in uh I was just taking a shot of the gazebo or whatever you call this thing. But this is this is the AC Clan temple, baby. This is where it this started. This is where it started. This is where the magic started. And I'm um, uh, yeah. Let me uh take me real quick. Make make sure I got good life. Make sure I got good life. I'm gonna talk about the subject that I was speaking about in the house. What's going on, people? I am Wesley from A Connection TV, the network. Yeah, yeah. Check out, check out, check out the little, the little ghetto swag real quick. Just a little, little ghetto swag real quick. Just you got a little sound. You got a little. But, uh, you gonna stop your phone? But uh. <laughs> My bad. This is where we. This is where we did the. You recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I gotta take this. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where. This is where we recorded. Hey, what's good? What's good? The uh, 
AC Clan. Can you see me? Am I in the light? Here we go. This is where we recorded the AC Clan. And um, actually, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is superstars, or people becoming superstars and changing dramatically. And is it cool? Is it not cool? Should it happen? Should it not happen? Why do people change? Um, you know, why do people feel like they're on a higher status and they just change? I don't understand. I've met some popular bloggers. And um, I got a bad taste in, on my soul when I, when I met them. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not going to call anybody out because you guys may have had different experiences when you've met these particular bloggers. Um, but why do we, as a people, um, number one, why don't we support people? Why don't we support each other? You can't just let me be in it. <laughs> oh, God, my bad. Am I, am I it's, dark? It's, it's kind of dark. Uh, let's go down here. Why don't you? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I don't know. He told me he told me it was gonna be a B fan video, it's so I, video. I don't we know. Both in it. We both no, it's more of a me fan. No, it's, we both <laughs> that shit is. I just gotta I just gotta ask this question. All right. Why why do we as a people, and I'm speaking about um, the gay community, why don't we support one another? Why? Um, why is it so much of a competition when we already have to compete against the world? Um, why don't we embrace one another? Um, even if, even because I've, I've, I've had people hit me up on, you know, the tube or whatever, and, and say, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't like walking through grass. Um, we can, we can walk this way. Um, I've had people hit me up on the tube or whatever, and be like, hey, Wes or whatever, check out my channel. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I would check out the channel, and you know, I would always commend them for what it is that they're doing because even though. It's not my cup of tea, or I don't do it. Um, I feel that it's always good to support somebody if they're doing something positive. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't feel that way. Like, a lot of people don't do that. They just ignore or don't support. And I don't think that's a good thing. Why, why do, like, what do you feel, Mike? Like, what do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about that situation? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um... I feel I feel it's 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 to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean when they say money changes you and all types of stuff, not to say that money's the issue, but you know, I feel like that's that's a mentality thing, you know what I'm saying? I think money, But these people don't have money. Right. And they still <laughs> acting like that. So imagine if you did have that, it's crazy. But I don't know, I feel it's to each his own, you know, I feel like everybody should just be humble, you know, regardless, because you gotta understand you're in the place you're in, your situation, a very great situation. You know, doing what you love because of the fans, because of the people supporting you. They wanted you, they 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 supported you so much that they wanted you to do that well. You know what I'm saying? So why would you even try to be an asshole or try to be funny, you know? And I don't know. I have more shit to say, but it's like what I wanna make a point, but it's not even coming out. It's beautiful out here though, but like it's crazy. It'll probably hit me. It'll probably hit me in Here's a minute. The point. Here's the point that needs to be made. Point blank period, okay? You are where you are because of the people. If the people aren't the ones backing you up, then you're nothing, you're nobody. So here's what I'm gonna tell you out there. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have a new show, if you're a celebrity, whatever the case may be, if you're popular, if you're well known, if somebody walks up to you and they genuinely support you and they wanna embrace you, embrace them back wholeheartedly, okay? Don't feel like Oh, what? Oh, oh, um, uh, yeah, where's my assistant? Oh, okay, oh, well, uh, oh, thank you. Smooches. Mwah, mwah. D don't do that. Don't do that, because that's fake. And that's terrible. You know what I'm saying? If you genuinely don't care to be associated with somebody that just genuinely supports you, then you don't need to be where you're at. And as far as the community, I just want to say this real quick. The gay community, we need to hold each other like this because the world is like this. So we need to come together and hold each other like this, okay? So for anybody out there that wants to do something on my show, I'm calling y'all out, okay? I'm calling out all of the gays out there. If y'all wanna do something on my show on A Connection TV Network and it's a cool, positive idea, definitely hit me up 
let me know what you want to do and we'll we'll try to work something out because i'm all about supporting and embracing the community not segregating and separating myself from the community now like i said it has to be on a positive note i don't want no haters no bashers no ridiculous shit to come out my way because i'm not going to support that and that's what it is if you ever meet me on the street or if you ever see me on the street and i dish you you need to say yo i thought you wasn't about the hate or wasn't about the dissing you know what i'm saying I, i've not done that i think the, the thing for me that when i meet somebody or somebody meets me from my channel they they say like oh my god i can't believe it's you blah 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 and i'm shocked like i'm like you talking to me you talk, you talking to me like who am I? I'm nobody. I'm I just do a little YouTube channel and try to make people laugh. But the fact that I uh, I, I, I gravitate to you guys or you gravitate toward me and y'all like what I do I, I appreciate that so much and like every time when I meet somebody I gotta give them like a huge hug and just like hug them real quick you know what I'm saying because it's just like cool. But I just wanted to talk about that real quick because I just I don't know I just feel a certain way about that people that are successful need to stay and continue to be successful by being positive and uplifting and supportive oh now now I remember what I was gonna say too that's what I was gonna say okay I'm back y'all yeah what Mike, I was gonna say Mike has a thing about being in front of the camera nah. like if there's a camera I'm, I'm gonna be real is that a be bad real. thing if there's a freaking camera is around that a bad thing? see like right now he is had it? to get in front of the camera but I'm in the back if there's, if <laughs> what are you talking about was that dark was that dark the whole nah, way nah, you were nah, showing nah, me good. oh here's the light if Mike, if Mike is not in front of a camera, he has an issue. He feels some sort of way about it, and he has to be in front of a camera. Like, if there's a Bless camera you. recording, like right now we're recording, he already knows he's a part of B-Fam, but he still wants to be in uh -uh. front of the freaking camera. Like, he he, even if I walk away right now, he's going to try to come back into the camera to speak his piece. Oh, now he, now he don't want to because I'm calling him out. Now he don't want to because I'm calling him out. Okay. Go ahead. Say but, your point. But say your point. Whenever he no, now I gotta say my point. I'm gonna say this. He's talking about me, but I think anybody would love to be in the camera. You know what I'm saying? If you look good and you, you know what I'm saying? He's also he's saying he look good. You know what I'm saying, of course. But even when he's in the camera, he's all up with his lip like. I don't do that. And he'd be all like. Doing all that extra. Look, you think yo know, the evidence is there on the two? What I gotta say is. Just keep it humble. The only time you should you should like give some type of like shade to somebody, I feel like it should be shade. You shouldn't give shade, period, but you should give shade. Like let's just say you've been trying to hit up people, you've been trying to get in contact and saying, yo, hey, what's up, what you doing? They don't return your calls or you leave them messages on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? And then they don't respond to your shit, but they, they definitely put a status on a Facebook. And then it comes to a point that when you make it big, do you feel some sort of way about no, that? No, no, no. When when you when you make yeah, I do, I do. But you know what? I I make sure I pay it at the end. You know what I'm saying? Because I make sure I pay it at the end because it's all good. But all I gotta say is when things pop off for me, and let's just say whoever I hit up, and then all of a sudden you wanna come in the picture. You know what I'm saying? You alive now? You alive? You know what I'm saying? You around? I'm that that's the only time I probably would give a little shade. I don't give shade to nobody. Let me tell you, son. I don't got enemies or nothing. There's people I don't like. But just because I don't like you don't mean I have to disrespect you. I still respect you. I just won't chill with you. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not hollering at me or whatever and you just all of a sudden coming out from the shade and you wanna be on some cool shit, it's not happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely gonna give on give you that celebrity shit like, oh hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, you know I'm here, I'm here. But anyway, look, it was nice seeing you again, man, right? All right, Chuck. You definitely gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like that too. I see people, yo, I ran into people on the train that see me, that see me in Chicago or Florida or whatever. They saw me, they saw, because I, I used to be um on tour with Rent, you know what I'm saying, a few years ago or whatever. I played Benny. And there's people that remember that. So I seen people on a train. I seen people in like certain places. I went to Florida one time, I went to Miami, and they were like, you know, so I know how it feels. And I'm like this, and it feels good. I was on the phone with my boy, and he showed them a picture. They were like, wait a minute, I know him. Is he into acting? Does he do? Oh my God, that's the guy that played back. That's your friend? Oh shit. Uh, you know, whatever. It was cool. He told me that. And we were on the phone. Cause they asked who you talking to. He's like, yeah, I'm talking to him. And the picture was on a picture ID, you know, when the person calls. He showed him and he recognized me. I could have been some other cat. You know what I'm saying? Some other dude, but they saw the name. 
and the last name. He got my first and last name, so it was it's crazy. But yo, life is beautiful, man. I mean, we need each other, gay, okay? straight, whatever it is. There should be some type of unity, you know what I'm saying? You know, just like you got the thugs that they type, some of them stick together, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, to try to get this money, you know, we need to come together in this world, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta be. We gotta get each other's back. I think that'd probably be the definition of a real thug. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who got your back. We all gotta be thugs in our life, you know what I'm saying? But not in a, neg a negative way, but we all gotta get each other back, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was just telling them, you know, we got different friends, different type of friends, you know what I'm saying? You got people that got your back, and you got people that don't got your back, but they lent you money. You got people that, for different things, we got different friends, but we gotta be consistent with ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Why you gotta change? Because the situation, like, or something you went through. I might be the best friend you ever had and get you through whatever you're going through. The only friend out of millions of friends you may have. You know, I got a circle, I got a little clique that I, that I, you know, I f with, you know what I'm saying? And I love them to death. And I don't even see them as a best friend, you know. I see them like a B fan, you know what I'm saying? Definitely on that brother level, but you know. We get enjoying this weather. I'm here with my beef fan. You know, ain't no better thing than this. You know what I'm saying? We need to get out, get some air. <clears throat> Spring is definitely here. And I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but uh, this spring, this summer, it's all gonna be about progression and vacations. Yes, cause I gotta go on vacation, baby. And sweat. And. I don't know about that. Yo, you're gonna have I, a hot summer, son. I, I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm a definitely, I'm a definitely do it up this year. I'm be chilling with my boy, uh, Mr. Scorpion, Mr. Scorpion, doing big things, going to big things. The boy, the boy, the, the boy gonna make it big, and won't make it big, no man. They gonna do it real right. He <laughs> <laughs> gonna put his foot in it, man. He gonna put his foot in it, man. He gonna get it, Scorpion. Am I? Are you showing me? I am. You see, he talk about front yes. of the camera. I got him. Why yes. would not? Why would I put him Because my camera was steady on your face. And You're taller than me. Your camera is going down You're taller like than this. me, though. But anyways, Kevin, y'all already know. People out there in YouTube land know that I, I love this dude and I support this dude 100%. You got the gangster lean. Yeah. You got the, look, I, you see I the gangster lean? Say, Pick the gangster lean real quick. Look, look. Say, you turn to the side. I just want to say, Kevin. Okay, we got a little thug. Kevin, you are going to do so well, brother. And... I just look at you and I be like, damn, this guy is really doing what he wants to do. I support that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? And Kevin, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. He, can give us, he might got the laugh down. He might got the laugh down. But I love you and I support you. Everybody out there, um, y'all need to support this boy because he is definitely doing big things. Besides all of that, if y'all going to sizzle, y'all need to hit me up. Cause I'm going to sizzle. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be Kevin. It's gonna be who else is going? Mikel's going. Your boy Nunu is going. Africano boy is going. Um, um, hopefully Dow Jones is going. Blue Eyes Simba is gonna be there. What's the T is gonna be there. Lionel is gonna be there. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, T Funk is, lives in Miami, so we all gonna get up and be in Miami with him. <laughs> um, who else? It's a lot of people going, and it's gonna be a fun event. So if y'all can go, y'all need to go. Definitely be down there, Miami Sizzle. Is he? Am I in the camera? You'll Miami see. Miami Sizzle. Definitely, I need to go. All right. If y'all don't follow me, I need to follow me on A Connection TV Network. But I had to do this video real quick to talk about the people and their celebrity status and how they change and how we change as a people. As a people, we should always stay connected, adopting that connection no matter what. Cheer. I know I heard that. That's that sound kind of familiar. You know, adopt that. What, what what's the name of that show again? It's called A Connection TV. Oh what? what? Oh yeah, yeah. My mama watched that show, son. So you all right? You want to say we love y'all? <laughs> oh my god. What is this, improv time? We just love all the support. Yeah, people like your improv thing. We love all the support. Oh, what? Yeah, they oh, said yeah, it I was like, good. Okay. Yeah, I see, I see some comments. I haven't seen like any recent comments, but yeah, I, I, I peep the little, little shirt, shirt. Yeah, you know, we got we got some scales. You know, we got we got a little something, something, you know. But um, 
Yeah, we love y'all, man. Thanks for supporting the channel. You know what I'm saying? We always gonna have fun. You know, maybe next time you see some videos in the summertime, you know, where we probably we probably both be like in a roller coaster. You, you know what y'all need to Yo, do? You know what be if you had a camera they on a to, roller coaster about reaction and be like, it's ah! I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like that. Uh, he'd be like this with, with his legs like. But then if the roller coaster is fast, that's just gonna be like that. Right. <laughs> y'all should send us. Y'all should send us a, a, a response on what y'all want us to do for the next AC clan, clans of AC, because yeah. this is the setup right here. That is the temple. That is the temple of all temples. Ain't it hot? And um, show me a little martial arts move. Cause, cause you can't do it. 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 Oh, I need to tell y'all something else. We, uh, you know, my whole wardrobe at Sizzle is gonna be all about my t-shirts. It's gonna be all about my t-shirts. I'm not buying a motherfucking thing from nobody. I'm getting it from myself. And um, I'm gonna be rocking the t-shirts. I'm uh, about to go to the house real quick to make a B fam t-shirt. So y'all need to holla, holla at your boy about that. And um, yeah, it's gonna be all about slogans and quotes. That's what it's gonna be about. This. I didn't even know they had a um a handball court over here. Yeah. That's oh yeah, I love handball, y'all. Yeah, I really? Love I love, I what kind of balls you like the hand? I can sit in. I can sit in. With the handball. Oh. So if y'all live, you know what I'm saying, in the area, you know what I'm saying, you wanna battle me, you know, little son. I know I've been playing since I was eight years old, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, handball, this is like handball season right here. I mean, it's never really a season for that. I used to play in the winter time. That shit was crazy. And I don't understand how people do that. Shorts in the winter. Nah, but it's like playing ball in the winter time too. Cause you know, when you're actually moving and your adrenaline and all that shit is all, you know, kind of warm the blood a little bit, you know what I mean? So you don't really feel it until like later on. That's what it is. Especially if you're having a real intense game, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. That's my thing. I could play all types of sports. I love sports or whatever, but my thing is handball. That's what I do, so, you know. And it gets your abs right, everything. Your body look crazy. It gets you all ripped and get real nice. Mm. I want to play it with Wes. You got to play some handball. Man. No, I don't do handball. No. That's too aggressive for me. I'm not that aggressive. Oh, so you won't play? You ain't into no type of sports? Anything rough? I don't do sports. I'm gay. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean because a lot of the basketball players out right now are... Um, yeah, a lot of the sports players are, actually. But, um, yeah, on a... Another note, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, but um, yeah. No, for me personally, I just um, there's there's different types of guys. There's the guys that play sports. Then you got the guys into the arts. Then you got the guys into the, like video games and stuff like. Me, I'm not the guy for sports. Like I don't do the sport thing like at all. So, but that's just me. That that may not be you. You know what I'm saying? You might like sports and still be you know whatever. But that's just not me. Him on the other hand, I mean, I don't know what I, I can't I just, see Mike playing basketball. I just learned how to play the violin and shit, like when he started talking about it, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I <laughs> learned the instrument. Thank you so You're much. Stupid. But we mean, I, listen. I'm not saying I'm mad nice at ball. You know what I'm saying? But I could, I could play a little something. I tell you straight up, you won't be. There will be no stealing the ball from me. There'll be a lot of stealing from me. But now you ain't stealing no ball from me. Shit, sure, with this tight I'm grip, cute. this tight kung fu grip, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> ah, anyways, um, this has been another big fam episode outside. I just want to go to the store real quick to get some lettuce. I want to make a chicken salad. Get some what? Lettuce. I want to make a chicken salad. Oh. Um. This is going to start to get some nuts. No. But uh, you know, I should play the lottery. I think so too. I've been seeing these numbers too, man. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because you might win that. From me, right, you know what I'm right. And I might have to knock at your door like, yo, I heard you use my numbers. Right. You know what I mean? So. Bye. But anyways, I love y'all and thank y'all so much for supporting. Hopefully y'all rate and comment on this video. Give me 30 likes and 30 comments. I don't know. It's just something about 30 I like. So just give me 30 likes and 30 comments and we'll be good. I love that. All right. 30 likes, 30 comments, 30 reviews. That's it. 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30. Yeah. Because I'm 30 right now. So that's why I want 30, 30, 30. All right. So give me 30, 30, 30. Yeah, not 30. I, I'm not. I'll be 30 in August. But it's all about 30, baby. It's all about 30. Something's going to happen for me at the age of 3 0. 
So it's all about 30, 30, 30. I'm old, right, y'all? I'm old. I'm ancient. Oh, oh, snap. I think I see a gray hair, too, son. I got a lot of those. I got a lot of those. Nah, but um, anyways, I love y'all. Great when you saw that old chick. 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30.